Thank you, Kenneth. You've done a wonderful job indeed. All right, so we now move on to our next presentation. And it is titled Blended Learning via Moodle and Beyond for Engineering Students. And it will be given by Neely Deutsch from University of Phoenix in Phoenix, United States. OK. Thank you. Thank you very much, it's Nelly. <laughs> That's OK. All right, I'm going to be describing a course that I gave for engineering students. And the course was given in the Middle East. OK, so it's not really Phoenix. It is a course for engineering students, which meant that they were not motivated. They didn't like the courses that they were doing. So I had to figure out a way to get them motivated out of um, you know, the textbook kind of thing. So what I did, I got a lab. A uh, language lab that no one had used before, so I was the first to use it. Okay, and I did something different. I decided to use Moodle. I have a Moodle website, so I, I got them into that. They kept forgetting their passwords. It was really difficult, even though they were engineering students. They were really problematic. The idea was this. Um, with the Moodle, you can get a lot of reading. And I try to get authentic reading that they were interested in, which was difficult. I also got Facebook so that I can get them to interact. I used other media besides Moodle. I also got them involved in something called an international writing exchange so that they can communicate with students from around the world and improve their writing. This is also something that I work with. I did everything I could to get these students motivated and involved. Through Facebook, they were able to also connect with others from around the world. The idea was for for me to connect with them in such a way that they would trust me. So whatever I brought afterwards, they were ready for it. The idea was to get them speaking, communicating, not thinking about reading so much as doing other things. I also got them involved online, and I used WizIQ for that. They were able to um, create classes of their own and communicate online the way it's done right now, virtually, so that they didn't have to come to the class. Uh, these are some of the features. They had to use a headset. They were not that keen on it, but they were happier with the gadgets. The minute they were able to use gadgets, they seemed to be happier. These were really weak students. So with weak students, we really do ha I have to figure out ways of getting them uh, motivated and interested in reading. They just had to pass exams, and that's all they wanted. What I did was I got them actively involved in doing. So I said, OK, you're going to create PowerPoint presentations and present your work through the WizIQ Live class. Record yourself, and then screen, use screencast and upload it to YouTube. So they were involved in doing a lot of technical things, and that made them happy. So they were reading. In addition, I wanted to improve their writing. And what better way than Google Drive? So I also got them involved in Google Drive. A lot of technology, you might say, but not for these particular students, because that was the only way to reach them. Um, so that's what I did. I got them to do little projects. So they would create surveys through uh, Google Drive. They would think of a topic. They could work in teams. They could work alone, research it, and then connect with me or with others in the classroom through Gmail. Some of them didn't have Gmail accounts. Some of them had to get Gmail accounts. So actually, I got them involved in technology. And I kept saying, you know, this is for your future. You're going to be presenting as an engineer. You'll have to present. So these are skills that you'll be doing. So they had to uh, present. And they use Present Me to present themselves, present um, if you're looking for a job. You know, I kept saying, OK, job hunting, careers. And that got them excited. OK, yes. That's important. I also got them involved in screen sharing. Uh, there's screen o which is completely free, so they would screen share their live sessions and then upload it, as I said before, to uh, YouTube. If you're not familiar with Screencast-O-Matic, it's really excellent. Um, I also um, introduced Jing so that they can cut things and explain. And this is an example of a Jing. Uh, cut out. It's completely free, of course. Um, you can download it for free and use it to capture images. So you just cut it up. It's very easy, and you can write on it. The idea, as far as I was concerned, was to get them motivated, to get them socially connected to English as a language, a live, not just something that you do for school, 
you know, for your engineering classes, but to get them to realize that it's a communicative language. And this is a, that was an excellent reference. And um, that's it. So if you're interested in Moodle, I'm the Moodle lady online. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Neely, and uh, we now move on.